Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to uh, commend and join my colleagues in the passage of this resolution today. And, you know, I want to be uh, candid and frank. Vladimir Putin isn't going to care a whole hell, heck of a lot what the Michigan Senate does today. But this does send a message to the rest of the world that we are standing on their side and hopefully giving them some uplifting encouragement. Um, I was really heartened to see the resolve and the steadfast resistance that the Ukrainian people have put up against this invasion. Um, I look at the conflicts that we've engaged in in our country over the last two decades or so, and we haven't really had willing partners to engage with us in those fights, even for their own freedom. You look at it in Iraq, in Afghanistan, we really haven't had willing partners the entire time. And there are certainly good people who fought alongside of us in those efforts that we had. But as we leave Afghanistan, you see the country collapse into the hands of the Taliban as we're leaving or immediately thereafter. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, people are digging in and fighting for the freedom and sovereignty of their own country. And I think it gives me an inspiration to think about what do I care about? And hopefully you can be encouraged to think about what do you care about? What are the values you care about enough to fight and die for? And sadly, I think as we come, become more self-absorbed in our own culture, we lose that focus of things outside of ourselves that are worthy of our fight and even willing to die for, like the folks in Ukraine who've stood up to resist this. And there are other things we can do too. We can weaken Vladimir Putin by opening up energy reserves in our own country, exporting them to our European allies so that they don't rely on Russia to heat their homes and fuel their economy and have a, a hostage situation by a hostile regime, regime like the Russians are. We can get Russia off the UN Security Council. They're chairing the meeting that is taking up the consideration of condemning the actions of Russia invading a sovereign country at the exact moment that they're invading. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then we can absolutely work with the Ukrainians to arm them and train them and give them every bit of knowledge we've learned fighting insurgencies over the last 20 years to tell them what it takes to fight an insurgency against an outsized military like the Russians are. And we can also give them our prayers and our support in resolutions like this take that up as well. And the Ukrainian government isn't perfect, and Ukraine doesn't have a perfect history of human rights of their own. But the best way to fix that is for Ukraine to be a sovereign country and deal with those issues themselves instead of being invaded by a hostile enemy neighbor. So I hope today that this is a small measure of support for the Ukrainian people, and I'm really encouraged to, uh, to see this, and, and I hope that there's more that we can do as the days and weeks progress. Thank you, Mr. President.